Well, good day. Welcome to the Winter Outlook for 2023 and 2024. From the Weather Service Office, Missoula, Montana, covering the Northern Rockies. So our current status is we are under an El Nino advisory and in the strong category for El Nino. We're expecting El Nino to continue at the strong phase through the winter months and slowly decrease as we get into April, May, June. Typically during El Nino's December through February, we average, we expect warmer than normal temperatures across Western Canada, Northwest uh, part of the U.S. and Alaska, and wetter than and cooler than normal conditions across the southern tier of the U.S. Our current drought conditions, we have a uh, extreme or uh, severe to extreme drought conditions across much of northwest montana and central idaho and that uh, drought conditions are expected to persist through the winter and even expand a little bit further to the south and east so let's look at some past el ninos we've had this is december through february precipitation anomalies percent of normal you see on the map that there's a lot of below normal uh, lower than normal precipitation for most El Ninos, but one theme of this uh, talk is to, uh, you know, not all El Ninos are the same. Some years we've had wetter than normal conditions, uh, 94, 95, and then just more recently in 2015 and 16. Percent of average snowfall is generally 75 to 90 percent uh, below normal across much of the uh, northern Rockies. Temperature departures are above normal especially uh, mainly across northwest Montana, anywhere from two to four degrees above normal. However, the further south you go, there's not as much correlation to above normal temperatures or anywhere from zero to one degrees above normal on average. Okay, during moderate to strong El Nino events, um, the biggest, probably the biggest and best correlation um, and best confidence we have for a seasonal outlook is uh, snow water equivalent or snowpack across uh, the northern Rockies is generally uh, 75 to 90 percent of normal. Uh, some years uh, we've had anywhere from 55 to 65 percent of normal, especially in 2009 and 10 and 91 and 92. However, once again, not all El Nino years are the same. In 2015 and 16, saw below normal precipitation across the southwest and at or slightly above normal snowfall or snow water equivalent across the northern Rockies. Just a closer look, this is 91-92, strong El Nino where we're, we range anywhere from 55 to 65 percent of normal for snow water equivalent in central Idaho. Snowfall in the valleys October through March, there's high confidence for uh, a seasonal snowfall below normal and high confidence for uh, fewer snow events doesn't mean we're not going to have snow. We're still going to have, you know, we're still going to have those uh, snow events and uh, colder events, but not quite as frequent. And here's a, a, a chart that just shows in red El Nino the number of events we've had between like zero and one inch, or right here between two and three inches. This just basically shows that there is a, a pretty significant difference in the number of snow events over the course of the year compared to La Nina and neutral conditions. Okay, across the gambit here from uh, western Montana, uh, Missoula through Sealy Lake, anywhere from anywhere from uh, 70 to 80 percent, except far northwest Montana, even lower. Same thing with central Idaho, 55 to 65 percent of normal. And that's mainly due to not as many westerly, uh, strong westerly jets um, uh, bringing us a lot of uh, Pacific moisture into the region. That jet stream generally stays in the, to, uh, south of here into California in the uh, southwest U.S. Okay, Missoula, Montana snowfall, anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of normal. Um, excuse me, not just Missoula, but the entire northern Rockies. Uh, note here that uh, it's about 10% lower on the snowfall 
uh, across central Idaho, Idaho than it is in western Montana. So November through February, um, this is just Missoula only. You can see we've had one year in which we were above normal for snowfall, and that was 58 years ago, 1966. Otherwise, we've been we've ranged anywhere from generally 50 to 80 percent of normal for snowfall over the course of these five months. Okay, uh, in Pierce, Idaho, same thing. Uh, they've had some really low years, especially 2003 and 9 and 10, where they're 35 to 45 percent of normal. Arctic air masses. Um, how cold are we going to get this year? Well, the general theme is lower frequency of Arctics. You just don't get that many uh, Arctic air masses with this type of pattern, uh, which will mean uh, not as many extreme minimum temperature days. Here is uh, the El Nino of 2009-2010 in the upper left. What's very interesting about this is it kind of hits to the point that yes we will have winter conditions this is a, a year in which in early December for about five eight days we had temperatures anywhere from oh uh, 10 to 25 degrees below normal as shown in this graph but then after after early January things got pretty uh, uh, much things got warmer than normal throughout the rest of the season however in 2015 and 16 look at the variability Yes, once again in November and, and December we had some cold events, but we also had them in, in later part of the year as well. So um, things are variable, and you can see how this makes you know this is a seasonal forecast. With the caveat is yes, we can have events, cold events. Okay, and the coldest temperature we ever had uh, during an El Nino year since. The early 80s was only minus 13 degrees. You can see in um, during La Nina and uh, neutral years, we had several years where we, where we were 20 degrees below zero or more. So average temperatures over the course of the entire season, average temperatures uh, across western Montana and uh, central Idaho range from anywhere uh, uh, one to two degrees. Um, above normal. One thing I want to note, okay, we talk about the whole season as far as El Nino goes. February seems to be um, the month where there's the greatest correlation to above normal temperatures. This is Missoula, Montana. You can see in some years we are seven degrees above normal, five degrees above normal. 2016 we are six degrees above normal the month of February. And percent of normal snowfall was much lower um, than the whole season. So if there's one thing I do have some confidence on is that once we get into February, we'll, uh, you know, more likely to see above normal temperatures and below normal snowfall as we head into the spring compared to some recent years where we've had some pretty good snows. Okay, our seasonal outlook uh, from the Climate Prediction Center, December through February. Uh, calls for 70-80% um, uh, likelihood of above normal temperatures across the panhandle of Idaho, northwest Montana, and central Montana, um, and uh, generally above normal uh, temperatures across the entire northern Rockies. Uh, and seasonal precip, uh, December through February, high likelihood of you know, anywhere from 70 to 80% of below normal precipitation throughout the course of the winter. Uh, talking points. This is a seasonal forecast. Not all act the same. High confidence for below normal snow water equivalent uh, with the lack of uh, uh, the, the moist westerly flow in the Pacific or jet. Um, we're typically drier than normal with snowfall in the valleys. Uh, expecting less frequent arctics and snows during the course of the season, but we will have them from time to time. Uh, more frequent ridging could lead to more uh, cold pools or inversions holding in that cold air, uh, as well as fog. Uh, keep in mind the best El Nino correlations do occur in winter. Uh, one question we seem to get a lot in the winter is, you know, how is the snowpack or lack of snowpack going to affect fire season? Well, it really 
doesn't. It's just one out of 15 variables that go into the potential for fires each year. So anyway, that's uh, it. We have a few resources at uh, climate.gov or there's Enso blogs out there. Um, I do encourage you to give us a jingle or ask us some questions if you want more detail. We have a lot more information and detail than uh, we can give you uh, regarding uh, local impacts. So feel free to give us a jingle. Um, and that's the end of the slideshow. I hope everyone has a good day.